Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys doing this Wednesday evening? Hope you're doing well. We are. March the 9th. Yes, uh, 2022. We welcome you into our home and uh, join with us for this time as we share together and study together and uh, just talk about Jesus for Amen. a little while. I'm really excited about what we're fixing to do and the study the next few weeks. And I love this season, uh, spring coming up. Don't forget Saturday night to step your clocks ahead, yes. um, spring forward uh, for the new time. And I'm going to be anxious to see those longer days coming. I love this time. And I love the season that we're about to enter, the Easter season, the very special time. Mm. So. They're not longer days, well, per se. To me, it is. It's a little bit more daylight out there to do a few more things than I normally have had lately. Is just so. moving it from morning to evening. Well, that's so. okay. That's all right. Making the difference in time. Yes, which is uh, fun. I think the, the Indian said only the white man can uh, cut a quilt at the top and sew it onto the bottom and thinks he has a longer quilt. <laughs> Are you saying that's me? No, that's what <laughs> that's me, yeah. uh, the idea about the daylight savings time. I what you're saying. So, yep. uh, but anyway, we're glad to see everybody and hope that you're you're enjoying yes. the, this week. It's a roller coaster week with the rain and the warm temperature, and then it's going to turn cold and, and there, snow. <laughs> even a flurry, chance of flurry Saturday during the day, but nothing oh, major. Oh man! Uh, but then it's uh, supposed to warm back up next week. So get so, those coats and sweaters back out. You're going to need them come Saturday and Sunday. So uh, oh man, it's an interesting time. Yes, and, it is. Uh, yeah, not is. just weather-wise, but world-wise. That That's you true. see what's going on all around us, and um, That's true. Uh, it, it reminds us the need for prayer. Amen. Amen. Um, and uh, and the Bible continually tells us to pray for our leaders and those uh, in authority over us, and so I encourage you to do that and pray for our world. And, Pray for the people of Ukraine and oh, yes. uh, uh, pray for God's protection on them and to uh, just minister his will be accomplished in all things. Amen. Um, I want to remind you of our service Sunday, 10 o'clock. Don't forget to set your clocks ahead or you will be an hour late. Uh, so... Uh, remember, uh, before you go to bed sat Saturday night, to turn right. them ahead. Service, 10 o'clock Sunday. Yes. Come and join with us in Amen. the building. Can't be with us. Look forward you can to being always together. join with us on Facebook Live. Uh, but we just want you to know how much we appreciate you, how much we appreciate Amen. this time together. And uh, we're thankful for what God is doing Amen. and for the way he's moving. And down the way, uh, March the 19th, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at our church location on Main Street, the guys are making us pancake breakfast, ladies, for our unashamed group. So come and be with us. Well, Otis and Bobby and maybe somebody else. But anyway, they're doing it for us. So come and be a part of that. I got something I want to share with you briefly from my heart. It's entitled, Where Do We Go From Here? What is God doing and speaking to our hearts, ladies? Um, so be there. Look forward to seeing you. And then Nan Up's the next Saturday. The 26th. Uh, right. So also Unashamed is a week morning. from Saturday. Yeah. Just a week from Saturday at 9 yes. o'clock. And then the very next Saturday, the 26th, is Nan Up at 9 o'clock also. So yes. uh, things are beginning to stir. and, and That's uh, right. As the weather changes. So uh, let's... Let's get busy for the Lord and look and, forward to it. Uh, allow the body of Christ to come together and Amen. be what He's wanting us to be in this hour. Amen. We're we're coming in. Uh, last Wednesday night, I talked to you about Ash Wednesday, and the, for the next forty some odd days till Easter Sunday, uh, and talked to you about the the reflection and renewing and and what 
God's design and desire is for our lives and for us to seek him. Uh, and uh, this past Sunday, I talked to you about, about God's will and, and, and uh, you know, what are we doing with what is in our hand and or whatever we have, whatever gifts that God has given to us, in the Lord's hands can be used mightily. Amen. Even if you think it's insignificant or small, there is nothing small to God. That's right. It best illustrated in the scriptures when the widow gives what is called the widow's might in the offering. And somebody had something to say and Jesus looked at them and said, you know what? She gave more than all of those yes. who gave out of yes. their bags of riches because she gave all that she had. Little is much when God is in Amen. it. So I just want to encourage you uh, to continue to seek the Lord, continue to reflect his will for your life and for what he's wanting you to do. And over the course of the next few weeks, as we go through this Lent season and as we approach Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. Uh, I want us to talk about Christ, the suffering, the crucifixion, and, and in particular, I want us to talk about his time on the cross. Uh, so over the next few weeks, we're going to look at this uh, about the cross because sometimes mm -hmm. I, think, I think the cross... While it is important, we breeze over it because we celebrate the resurrection mm -hmm. on Easter Sunday. And I think it's time that, that we look at, at Christ, first of all, understanding the suffering that he, he endured for us, but also the significance of that time on the cross and, and what is portrayed to us through that time on the cross. He spends about six hours on the cross. He is crucified somewhere in the neighborhood of 9 o'clock in the morning, and he is on the cross till about 3 o'clock that afternoon. Um, during that time, there are several things that happen, and there are seven things that we have that are recorded for us that Jesus says while he's on the cross. Uh, some of them happen before 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock, the world goes dark. The sky is dark. And darkness prevails uh, through the crucifixion. And uh, I think it's important for us to look at what Jesus is saying, what he says, and what's the significance of what he says to all of us. Um, the first thing that is recorded for us that he says is given to us in Luke 23, 34. And it simply is this, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Now, he has been crucified, put on the cross, raised up, the cross is, is put in place. Uh, they're gambling for his apparel, his robe. And Christ speaks on the cross and says, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Um, I think it's important for us to understand what 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 does it when we think about forgiveness. What does that entail? Um, Luke 23, Denise, if you would, just read 23, 20, 22, excuse me, 32, 33, 34, and 35. This is in Luke 23. Listen to, to the account that Luke gives us here. There were also two other criminals led with him to be put to death. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots, 
And the people stood looking on, but even the rulers with them sneered, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. Father, forgive them, for they know. Now, now I want you to picture this in your mind. Jesus has been arrested. He has been made fun of, jeered at, um, slapped and beaten about, Beyond recognition. Uh, spit upon, yeah. then he's whipped, mm -hmm. um, beaten would be a better terminology. Isaiah said his visage is marred more than any man. Um, he has a crown of thorns, and we're not talking about rose thorns. We're talking about thorns that are anywhere from an inch and a half to three inches long uh, that is made into a crown and shoved down onto his head. Uh, he's made to carry his cross until he falls from exhaustion and then Simon is commanded to pick it up and carry it on. He's nailed to the cross uh, spikes going through hand. Um, some people say through the wrist to support the weight. Either that was considered the hand as well. But let's just say the hand. Feet are put together and spiked through. Raised up and the weight of himself hanging on the cross. He's already exhausted. He's already been beaten and has lost blood. And the only way from the position that he's on, on the cross, it creates tremendous pressure on the rib cage, which cuts off uh, the ability to breathe well. And the only way you can breathe well is to, from your feet that are driven through with a spike to push up to relieve the pressure mm. so that you can breathe. I can't imagine. Oh, man. And here he is hanging in front of a crowd who just a few days before were shouting, Hosanna. Yes. And now are laughing and jeering and had just previously said crucify him. And the very ones who nailed him to the cross and who are now gambling for his clothes, he makes this statement. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Now, let me tell you how, what, I, what I think right off the top of my head. I don't think he was just talking to those soldiers. I think he was talking to the crowd. Mm -hmm. They didn't realize what they were doing. They didn't realize he was truly the Messiah, right. the Son of God. Now, He's asking the Father to forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. You know, the Bible tells us that if we sin willfully after we've come to the knowledge of Christ, there is no other sacrifice for us. In other mm -hmm. words, what, now, what he's saying is, is if we reject Christ and we reject Christ, the blood that was shed for the, our sins, then there is no other sacrifice. There is no other, no other sacrifice by which we can be saved. Right. Um, I told Denisa earlier, and this is a, a funny part. She told me not to say it, but I, I'm going to say it anyway. He um, just can't help himself. <laughs> it's okay. It's odd. It's when I, every time I read that, 
passage of Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I'm reminded of my favorite line from the movie Sister Act. When a priest is about to go in and do something and he prays before he goes in and he says, Father, forgive me for we know exactly what we're about to do. I'm afraid that most people live where that priest is well, rather weird. than the people that yeah. Jesus is talking yeah. to. But Jesus is talking about, look, they're, they're committing sin. They don't even realize they're, what they're doing. They don't even know who they've nailed to this cross That's right. and who they're treating in such a manner. They don't understand it. But you see, Jesus came for everybody. Mm -hmm. He came realizing that people were going to reject him. Yes. He came realizing that not everybody was going to accept him. Amen. He came realizing that not everybody was going to like him. Mm -hmm. That some people were going to do all manner of evil against him. And in his earlier ministry, he addressed that in Luke 6, 27 and 28. Listen to what he said. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who spitefully use you. Wow. Those words seem, oh yeah, okay, love everybody. But Jesus on the cross, and the first thing that is recorded for us that he says while he's on the cross is living out what he has told us that we're supposed to do. Yes. To love your enemies. Mm -hmm. Now, what he's saying here and what we're saying and what Jesus did, it was not an easy thing. Mm -mm. The whole night of agony that he spent in the Garden of Gethsemane before he goes into this in preparation for what was coming. Yeah. And that's, that's why I tell people, look, you need to pray. You need to be in touch with God. You, you, yeah. need, you, need, you need to be storing up because too many times things come upon us and we're not that's prepared. Right. Oh, we're not yeah. ready. Oh, wait a minute. I got to pray. Wait a minute. I, I, you know, I hadn't done this. Well, you know what? The coming of Jesus is going to catch a lot of people unaware because they are not prayed up and ready right. to leave this world. And the Bible says that I've got to live as if Jesus is coming mm -hmm. this moment. Amen. And in order for me to do that, I've got to walk in obedience to his commands. Yes. And he says, love your enemies. Now, now, please understand what that means. That simply means that I'm not going to be their judge. They they're have to answer to God for their life. Right. I can only be responsible for what I do. I can't correct anybody. Mm -mm. Now, when my kids were small, I could correct them. I could say, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to do it this way. But you know what? I can't change any person. Right. I can't make Denisa do what I think she ought to do. She can't make me do what I ought to do. You are your own person and you are responsible for you. But the whole point of it is, is to love one another. Yes. It doesn't mean that I agree with what that person right. did or what that person did was okay. It simply means that I remove the hold that my unforgiveness has on them right. so that God can deal with them. Amen. And I refuse to give the enemy the power and the ability over my life Amen. that he will have when I allow right. unforgiveness to yes. fester into resentments and bitterness Come and on. hatred. Yeah. It's going to affect me, yeah. not the person that it's aimed That's right. toward. That's right. To love one another and to love your enemies. Amen. Do good to them. Yes. Yes. Does that mean I agree with what they did? No. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to answer for their life. That's right. And there will be some people that will never, oh, yeah. never say, will you forgive me? Right. But you know what? 
I forgive you anyway. That's it. Amen. I forgive you anyway. But the deal is that my release, now listen, that my release opens up that person for God to deal with them. Yes. I'm not holding them mm -hmm. or myself in bondage. Right. I am not allowing the enemy access right. in the Bible says, uh -huh. don't give place to the devil. Amen. We give place to the devil when we allow the unforgiveness to fester and to That's build it. into our lives into something that it never should That's have it. been to start with. Right. Have we been hurt? Yes. Oh, yeah. Have there been yeah. times that people have done? Yeah, Jesus yeah. was hurt. Don't misunderstand that. You don't think he was hurt that day? Mm -hmm. You don't think he was hurt when... When he stood over Jerusalem and said, Jerusalem, how often I would have gathered you yeah. to myself as a hen does her chicks, but you would not. Mm -hmm. So you know what? You're going to have to answer for what you've done That's and it. for your rejection. I'm not holding it. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I, I, mm -mm. And Jesus right here on the cross says, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Right. They don't know what they're doing. And you know, there are a lot of times that I have come to the point and place of really believing people sometimes really don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They have allowed hurt mm -hmm. and things to fester in their life. And the only reaction that they can muster from themselves is to do in kind to other people. Mm -hmm. When yeah. I say doing kind, I'm not talking about kindness. I'm talking about doing the same thing to other people that's been done right. to them. Right. Hurting people hurt people. We need to be careful about that. And it's so important that we understand that what God's design and desire for our life is lived out by Jesus mm -hmm. on the very first thing that he yeah. says on the cross. Father, forgive them. For they don't even know what they're doing. They don't right. even realize it. They, they don't even understand what's going on. And, oh, God, help us. Amen. Amen. You know, he was also fulfilling prophecy. Listen to these words in Isaiah 53, 12. Therefore, I will divide <coughs> him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Wow. He made intercession for the transgressors. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, that's me. Oh, yeah. That's all of us. All of us. You know, there was a time in my life when I nailed Jesus to the mm -hmm. cross. There was a time in my life when I was in open rebellion against God and walking in my own ways and my own mm -hmm. thoughts. And I'm thankful that he interceded on my behalf. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I'm thankful that somebody told me about Jesus. Amen. I'm thankful for the people that lived it out in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this because I grew up in church. But the devil don't want you to see the faithful people. No. The devil only points out the hypocrites. The devil only points out the people who say one thing in church and then they live their life in a totally different way outside of church. Right. But I want to tell you, there are real people. There are Yes. There are people who love the Lord yes. who are following after him. Amen. Now, does that mean they're perfect? No. no. The Bible says none of us are perfect. Yeah. So none of us are perfect except for Jesus, and they nailed him to a cross. So what am I worthy of? He took my place. Thank you, Lord. He paid the price. Yes. He opened the door. Amen. He made the way. Yes, he it did. is so important that you and I understand exactly what what he's done for us and, and when jesus says father forgive them he's not absolving them of their sin please understand that jesus didn't that day on the cross say father forgive them they don't know what they're doing so god just wiped away their sin and they 
they're they're not responsible for that anymore no that's not what happened because they are responsible for what they did but Jesus did the very thing that he came to this world to do to intercede on their behalf and to cry out to the Father yes. for mercy on their soul. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank Do they have to respond individually? Yes. Just like you and I have to respond individually. Yes. My mother couldn't save me. My daddy couldn't save me. Oh, they tried. <laughs> they prayed and they prayed and, and I'm thankful for their prayers. Amen. Amen. But the only one that could save me was Jesus. That's right. And he interceded on their behalf before God. Amen. He's interceded on, before God on my behalf, on yes. your behalf, on yes. all of us. And he's still doing it Amen. today. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so thankful. Amen. I want you to remember what Jesus said in Matthew 18, 34 and 35. And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due him. So my heavenly Father will also do to you if e to do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his brother his trespasses. Remember the account. A servant forgiven of a debt. Mm -hmm but didn't forgive his fellow servant. Right. And so the master says, here it is. Now you're due. The Bible tells us repeatedly, especially in the Gospels, that if we don't forgive, we won't be forgiven. That's right. Mark 11 that makes it very clear. If we want to be forgiven, we must forgive. Mm -hmm. And I, I say that because, look, I guarantee you, every person that's watching, every person that's listening, there are times that somebody has hurt you to a point you don't know if you'll ever get over it. And I understand that. But let me tell you this. The only person that can heal that hurt mm -hmm. is, is God. That's right. Through the Holy yes. Spirit, Amen. that balm of Gilead, yes. that anointing yes. oil running over us oh, that brings you, healing Amen. into Amen. us. Yes, God. Thank you. What I'm talking about, about forgiveness, is we have to start making the step of saying, you know what? I'm going to forgive. Uh -huh. yeah. Are there days that it comes up? Are there days that you think about it? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. I think we, will, we remember things that happened all of our lives. Yeah. One of the tools that the enemy uses is to remind us of what we did before we became a Christian. Mm -hmm. How we messed up. Just because I became a Christian doesn't mean I forgot all of those things. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful God forgot them. Amen. And when I say forgot them, he didn't forget them in that he could never remember them. He chooses not to remember right. them. When he looks at us, he looks at us through the blood of his son Amen. that was shed on that cross that washes yes. out. Thank you, Lord. That wipes out <laughs> all of our sin. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. I'm thankful. Thank you, God. For that. When we forgive Amen. someone, it doesn't remove what they did or, or their responsibility for what they did. It's just like, and I've used this illustration for years. It's just like if you go tomorrow and you rob a bank and you bring the money. To the altar and you lay down and you ask God to forgive you. Will he forgive you? Yes, I do believe he will. But you know what? The police are going to come get you. Yes. There are consequences. To because there choice. are consequences to that choice uh -huh. that you made. That's right. And I'm thankful that you gave your heart to the Lord. But the, the reality is 
you're going to have to answer for that deed that you yeah. did. Yeah. And so it, it's important that we understand that there are blessings and consequences to every action. We tried to raise our kids with the understanding that, look, look, your, your choices matter. Amen. Because right. once this choice is made, you can't go back and remake it. Now, you can change and go in a different direction, but that initial choice already has blessings or consequences. Mm -hmm. And so it is important that you and I understand that, that, that forgiveness is, is for our benefit to release us from the bondage of our past. Right. Amen. I forgive mm -hmm. people who grew up in abusive homes. That's a hurt and a scar I can't even begin to imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay? People that are in abusive relationships are hurt and a scar. I, but what I'm saying is forgiveness begins a healing in you. Amen. Doesn't release the person from their responsibility. They're going to have to answer. Right. They're accountable right. for their actions before God. Amen. But it just means I refuse to give the devil power to torment me Amen. over something I had no control over. Amen. And so it is important that we begin to walk in that forgiveness for others. Yes. God help us. God help Amen. us to be what he's wanting us to be. Now, please understand, they went ahead, they gambled for his garments, they they split it up, they took care, he, he hung on the cross, he died. His forgiveness of them changed absolutely nothing with them unless they came to God and said, forgive me. Right. But Jesus was not going to allow that moment to bring a bitterness or resentment. He came to die for them. Yes. He couldn't be bitter against them. Amen. He couldn't be That's resentful right. toward them. He couldn't be unforgiving toward them. He was going to be the high priest. He yes. had to set the example. That's right. And he set the example for every one of us. I refuse, and this this is this has been my my cry for a while now. I refuse to give the devil authority over my life Amen. by my holding grudges Come on. and hurts That's and right. resentments. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's right. Mm -mm. I release it. Mm -hmm. I forgive. Yep. Does it still hurt sometimes? Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll sit around and think about what a scumbag I am and how I need to just go eat some worms and just, uh, you know. Hey, we're all there. Yes. The devil tries to remind us of how bad we were. He does. But I'm thankful it's under the blood of Amen. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes. I'm yes. thankful that I know yes. a risen Amen. Savior. Yes. Who showed me the Thank way of forgiveness. Jesus. Amen. That forgiveness is not just talked about. That's right. Forgiveness is lived out. Even at crucial moments in life, That's it. when it hurts, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I refuse to give the enemy power over my life Amen. by harboring unforgiveness. That's right. Please, please know, God. Remember what the Bible says. And this just hit me. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says Amen. the Lord. We don't have to get even. Mm -mm. Put it in the Lord's hands. Cast all of your care upon him because he cares for you. Amen. If your earthly father is willing to defend you and, and help you fight your, how much more is your heavenly father willing to defend you and fight your battles? Yes. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. Trust him. Trust him. 
Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. I'm not giving it authority over my life. No. You know, Jesus could have stopped right there. Mm-hmm. Jesus could have said, okay, I've had enough. He could have called the angels from heaven. Yep. He could have wiped out the whole lot of them. Yes. He could have come off that cross. They were even making fun of him. Oh, he mm-hmm. saved others. Why can't he save himself? He could have. But he didn't for their benefit. That's right. And for all mankind. For our benefit. God help us. Lord, you know what's in my heart. You know what's in my life. I give it to you. Amen. I give it to you. I'm not going to avoid people. I'm not going to go the other way. I'm not going to turn around. Nope. You know what? I didn't do anything. Okay, I've got to add I'm going to smile. I'm going to make you speak. I'm going to say, hey. God... uh, taught me those lessons through Otis. And, and I'm not putting him up on the pedestal, so please don't misunderstand what I'm about to say. But, um, I mean, I grew up in a pastor's home, too, and, and I watched people when I shouldn't have watched people. And you really see people outside of the church when they come to your mom and dad's home and unload. You, you see kind of how they are, and you're going like, oh, my word. But yet, you know, anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what I'm trying to say, having said that, um... I would, you know, when people would hurt me, yes, forgiveness. But I didn't realize the forgiveness also meant that, you know, when you see them, you don't turn the other way. Um, And Otis has always been, and I've held his hand, like, you know, go to somebody. Otis is going to speak to them, no matter what they've done to hurt him. And again, I'm not lifting him up, only saying it's Jesus in him that spoke to me. That, yeah, you know what? Love them. This is part of loving them, even though they hurt you. And realizing that this is not a flesh and blood battle, but that it's a spiritual one. And that a lot of times the enemy uses people to trip you up. So be careful. Be in the Word. Know God. Be in the Word. Know God. Be in His Word so He can speak to you. I learned this a lot from Otis because he can tell you. I would squeeze his hand after the fact and I would go like, did you really feel like you needed to do that? And Otis would say, I haven't done anything. And I would go like, you know what? You're right. By the grace of mercy, in mercy of God, you know, it's like he said so many times, um, exactly what's the words, if, if, if I, I err, err, I want to err on the side of grace and mercy, and, and I've come to that point. Um, I do too. I mean, you know what? It's it's not worth it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, folks, let it go. Don't avoid if you see somebody out somewhere in the grocery store or whatever. You know, they may turn from you, but that's in their court, not yours. And now, that, how you doing? Good that doesn't mean you. we're going to be best buddies. No. It doesn't. And hang um, out and sing kumbaya by the fire. Right. But it doesn't lay at your door. I mean, you're loving people beyond. And, and you do that because God helps you to do that. I know he's been teaching me that way of loving people. Um, you know. Because the Bible also says, mark those who cause dissensions and have among you nothing and have no fellowship with them. with them. Yes. And so... Yes. It is important. Forgiveness? Yes. yes. But right. that don't mean we keep putting ourselves back in that situation. Right. No. Exactly. Not exactly. No. Not at all. What an awesome God we serve. Yes. Amen. Amen. That in the moments of his death, he's a living example for us. That's right. Forgiveness. Father, we thank you for your yes, love Jesus. and mercy. We thank, thank you for Lord. this opportunity. Amen, God. We just ask, Lord, that you would help us. Thank yes, you for Jesus. your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you Amen, extended God. it far out, Amen. even yes, to Lord. us. Thank you, Jesus. 2,000 years later. Amen. 
God, help us to live in that forgiveness and to walk in that forgiveness. Yes. And to yes, extend God. forgiveness Thank as you, you have forgiven us. Amen. Amen. God, help us. Amen. Release the hurt. Yes, God. Right help now. Help us in Jesus put it name, in your Father. hands. Right now. Help Jesus. us to allow you Amen, Lord. to apply the anointing of the Holy Spirit. To bring Thank about a Lord. healing in our hearts, yes, Jesus. in our minds. God, have your way. Yes, I Lord, we ask it, Father. I thank Jesus you for who you are and for yes, what you're Lord. doing right now. Amen, God. And Lord, we lift up all of those around us. Yes, we pray Lord. for our fellowship, for every home, God, for every God, family. You know us. each and every one. Yes, you know Jesus. each need. Thank God, I Lord. pray that you would bless us during this time. Amen. Lord, Amen. When, when inflation is going up and gas prices yes. are going so high, God, God I pray God, that you would bless Jesus. each home and each Amen. family. May we be faithful to yes, you Jesus. and may we continue to yes, walk Jesus. as you're calling us to Amen, walk, God. I pray in this hour. God, we pray a, you, a special request that came in to yes, us this right afternoon. Now, Father, Lord, we that pray that you would move and minister, right now, God, that you would open doors oh, and Lord. pour into that you, heart Father. and that mind and yes, that life. God, open Lord, open the doors Jesus for the situation, for, healing, for their benefit, for, for their good. God, for and I thank you for what you're going to do. And I pray, thank Lord, you, that you would just speak yes, in might and in power. Hallelujah, Lord. Have your way, Lord, today. We thank you. Thank we you give Jesus. you praise. We give yes, you glory. God. We give you honor yes, for everything Lord. to be accomplished. Amen, Father. In the precious and holy name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining with us tonight. Remember, what better time for us to walk in, for us to exercise, for us to give forgiveness than a time when we're remembering what Jesus did for Amen. us yeah. and we're reflecting on what he suffered for us and what he went through for our behalf and as he's forgiven us that we forgive others yeah. God help us to walk in him and to be faithful to him remember our service Sunday be much in prayer for it Amen. 10 o'clock Sunday morning join yes. with us continue to support the church infusionchurchnc.com go to the giving page give through easy tithe you can give on uh, text give or you can mail it to infusion church p.o box 14281 archdale north carolina 27263 thank you guys for joining with us thank you for this time that you spend with us we don't take it for granted. No, we enjoy it so much and thank you for letting us come into your home and if you're like me you like that prayer too. Lord, forgive us for we know exactly what we're about to do. <laughs> we love you guys. You are so wonderful. You're such a blessing to us. And please know that Honest and I pray for you daily. Infusion family, we are excited for what God's doing in our midst. The Lord is moving mightily. Amen. And I just am thankful for each and every one of you. Dear friends on Facebook, we love you. God bless you. Many blessings upon your life in Jesus' name. Be in the Lord's grace over these yes. next few days. Walk with him. Amen. Continue to pray for Ukraine. Yes. Continue to pray for our leaders. Yes. For wisdom, for divine Amen. discernment. That's right. For God to move and give them the courage yes. to do what needs to be done and the will to follow Amen. him in this hour. Lord bless you. Know we love you. We're praying for you. Stand tall. Good night, guys. Put your coat on. Yeah. Lord bless Let you. Cold. We love you. Love you.